Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 91 of 100 days standard concepts. Today in this video, there is a small concept and an important concept which almost repeats in almost every year of gate MT, which is calculating the maximum reduction while you are rolling. Okay, maximum reduction in a single pass is what we call. So before directly going into it, let me just, you know, explain you this setup. So basically this is my rolling setup, correct? So what do we have? I have two rolls in between. I'm just passing my uh, sheet or bar or slab, whatever it is. Okay. So this is my height. Okay. The initial thickness, let's say HI. And this is the final thickness HF. So what is happening here? Obviously, the thickness is getting reduced and I want to call it draft. Okay. What is delta H? HI minus hf and what is this called this is called as my draft okay so delta h here can be written as this guy over here similarly you have some part over here on this side correct so if you add up these two lengths you get delta h or in other words i can say this is delta h by 2 let me put in these arrows and this is also delta h by 2 y because on both the rolls you have equal uh, reduction taking place right now what is maximum reduction so maximum reduction is what is the maximum draft okay which can be written as delta h max okay delta h max or the maximum draft is what we call the maximum reduction in rolling okay so now quickly uh, going to some um, basic trigonometric operations what is this alpha here alpha is called angle of contact or angle of bite okay alpha is between let's say the uh, entrance plane the angle between the entrance plane to the central uh, line okay of my rolls okay so this angle is my alpha right so now if you carefully see what is this length over here this is nothing but my radius correct radius of my roll okay and of course what is this over here this length this length will be r minus delta h by 2 correct because this total guy here will be my delta sorry uh, this total guy will be my r so we know that this is delta h by 2 so this will be r minus delta h by 2 simple now what uh, you have over here is this length okay this guy okay this is basically called lp length of contact is what we call it okay so basically lp is called what length of contact right so now um, if you just take tan alpha what is tan alpha it is lp divided by r minus delta h by 2 correct what is tan theta opposite by adjacent now also if you take this right angle triangle let's say a b c right angle triangle from this triangle if you see this is r this is r minus delta h by 2 what is this now let's say x from here x is equal to root over r square minus r minus delta h by 2 whole square so what is this this is simple pythagoras theorem okay so now uh, after expanding it you get x equal to root of r square get, get cancelled uh, you'll be getting minus of minus so this will be r into delta h minus delta h square or uh, delta h square by 4 correct now we know that delta h itself is very small delta h square will obviously be negligible so you can easily neglect this so what is x here x is nothing but my lp right that's what it is this is lp so from here lp can be approximated as root r into delta h now just put this over here now tan alpha is equal to root of r into delta h by r again the same thing delta h by 2 can be neglected out right so from here we know tan alpha will be equal to root delta h by r okay so this is a relation now what is tan alpha so from here 
we can write tan alpha is what mu so basically mu should be greater than or equal to tan alpha where mu is my coefficient of friction so just using that over here that using the same thing over here what i can write I can write mu is greater than or equal to root of delta h by r correct i just replaced my uh, tan alpha with root delta h by r so from here if you can write delta h is less than or equal to uh, root uh, will get cancelled after squaring so this is mu square into r therefore according to these condition the rolling conditions delta h should always be less than or equal to mu square r now of course you can see that we are dealing with the maximum value maximum draft maximum value of delta h therefore from here what i can write is my delta h max will be how much mu square r because we have a less than or equal to symbol over there right so this is how you got this particular important formula in rolling and if you see for the past 5 to 6 year papers you will definitely see one question by this concept okay this is an important thing and easy scoring uh, you know concept right so i hope uh, you all understood this thing so if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also do visit everythingmetallurgy.com in order to find one of the best video courses and live classes starting from february 10th from uh, you know february 10th 2021 for gate 2022 So yeah that's it from my side we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys